Next, we want to look at the not one, but two new timecode windows. This being yet another feature that I know a lot of people have been begging for for a while, including myself. While there have been third-party solutions that are even free, aside from some of them being literal hacks, which is never really a great idea, others didn't have an option for displaying source timecode. Both of these new windows can be found, surprise, surprise, in the window menu. Selecting the project timecode opens the timecode floating window, which has the name of the currently active project at the top, as well as, of course, displaying the timecode of the current position of the playhead or skimmer of said project, depending on which is currently active. The timecode for clips in the event are still only displayed under the viewer. You can, of course, scale the window up and down to your liking, and it also has a pop-up menu at the top right, with which you can select three different levels of transparency for the window. So this window by itself should actually excite and please a lot of people. But where it gets really interesting is with the second timecode window for source timecode, which we can find in the Windows menu as well below the project timecode. Choosing this opens yet another floating window. This one already has much more information by default. As the name says, it shows me the timecode not of the project, but rather both the name as well as the timecode of the clip or clips that my playhead or skimmer are currently positioned over. I can, of course, resize this window as well, but unlike the project timecode window, I can change the vertical and horizontal size independently. But aside from just simply displaying name and source timecode, the color of the individual clips also tells me which role the clip has been assigned. So blue for video dialogue, green for music, and so on. But it goes even further than that. Selecting a clip in the timeline, for example, also selects its name and timecode in the window with the same yellow outline. And while we were given the ability to copy the current project timecode in the edit menu a few versions back, you can now even right-click any clip in the source timecode window and are given the option to either copy the current timecode of that clip or even copy the current timecode and name, by the way, of every clip listed in the window all at the same time. So if I do that and switch over to any random app that allows text entry, say for example the Notes app, and hit Command V, all of the aforementioned information is pasted into the document. That's pretty cool if you ask me. And I think a lot of users, as well as developers, are going to be excited and thankful for it. And if having two of these windows open at the same time takes up too much screen real estate for you, then you can simply close the project timecode window. And if we click on the pop-up menu at the top right of the source timecode window, we see here, next to the same transparency settings as in the project timecode window, two additional display options at the top. The first one being project timecode. Selecting this adds the same project timecode information at the top of the list. So with that, I can save myself having to have two windows open at once. But I can just as well turn other information on or off too. So for example, if the color of the clip's role is not enough for me to correctly identify it, I can also add its name. Selecting it adds its role name to the clip information in between its name and timecode. So a really nice implementation of the whole concept, if you ask me. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Uh -huh.